today we're going to take a look at Go and some of the new features. Go is a web-based browser and editing application. I'm running it on Chrome, but because it's a lightweight application, you can run it on a tablet or phone. I'm going to start by searching the library bin and looking for the media that I want to start to edit. I'll search by name for a clip called Volleyball. As I click on a clip, it becomes available in my source player and I can now start to mark an in and out using these icons. I can jump to the in and out frames on the timeline using my up and down arrows. I can go back a few frames using my left and right arrows just to edit and update any in or out. Hotkeys like I, O and G work in here. All of the hotkeys available in the source player are listed in here. For example, clearing it in to out is G. Once I've chosen my segment, I can drop that down into the media bin. The media bin is storing all of the highlights that I've already chosen, so I already have two here. I can resize the media bins or hide the media bin at any point that I need to, either by dragging these blue bars or clicking on the little arrows. Each one of these windows has the ability to do this. When I want to start to edit to my timeline, I can drag and drop, and you can see now that we have a ruler available for us. As I drag and drop, I've got the option of where I want to drop the clip, so for example, the end of the timeline, or to replace the timeline using these hotspots. I can also mark an in and out on the timeline and drag to those in points without actually having to have a cut in place. or I can drag directly to my cursor on the timeline. I can move the in and outs on my timeline as well just by dragging on the hand symbol and if when I'm finished with it, I can just drag it up to make it disappear. I can also mark in and out using hotkeys I and O and G to clear. So I'm adding my last shot and now in order to zoom back, I click on this area here and hit F for fit. That fits my whole entire timeline to the workspace. I can also click on a segment and hit F and that will resize the timeline. If I lassoed two segments, I can hit F and that will zoom into just those two segments and F to come back out again. There's also a lasso tool that allows me to lasso into those segments if I go from bottom right to top left or this handy toolbar down here. If I want to reorder shots on the timeline, I can just pick those up and drag them to a new location. This is just changing the order of the sequence, but not the duration of any of the segments. I can also use the trim tool by trimming the out frame of the first clip or trimming the in frame of the second clip. To do this, I'm just dragging this area here. If I need to add a dissolve, you can just click on this icon here. If I need to make a change to that, I can open up the transitional menu. I can also add transitions to multiple points on the timeline by lassoing the group or selecting them individually and then pressing on the add transition button. I can also add crossfades to the audio by clicking on the same icon just in the audio track. By double clicking on the little icon that appears, I can go into the transition or crossfade menu and make a change. For example, I can change the crossfade to a fade out and back in again. I can also change the duration and apply that to everything on my timeline. I can do the same with the videos. So for example, wipes and cuts, durations, and apply that to everything on my timeline. The timeline player has an info menu as well. If I click in there, I can see any of the shortcuts for anything that I'd like to do. For example, here I've got Snapshot. Let's take a look at Snapshots within the History menu. Open up the History menu here. The History menu gives us a list of everything that we've just done. For example, adding those dissolves and wipes to the audio and video. So if I step back up through the list of the history, I'm basically undoing back through those steps. And obviously if I go back down, I can redo. In the history panel, you also see a snapshot tool. This allows you to save an instant of your timeline. So as you make any changes, you can save it 
and then you can call back any other snapshots that you might have already created. You can also delete snapshots if you don't need them anymore. You also have the ability to record a voiceover. If you have a microphone configured for your system and it's plugged in and switched on, you can record a voiceover here. Click on the icon, it will turn red. Click on the record button to start your record. It will do a countdown and then you're able to record your voiceover. That will then appear on your timeline. Thanks for watching an update on Go.